go watch this show. I'm pretty sure I won't be able to do it justice, but if you're still not sure, I just want to hear my opinion on it. Which I guess you do since you clicked on this video. Well, this is Charlotte. This show kind of reminds me of Coke Gears, so I might draw a few comparisons to it. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start with the story. So, this is a pro tycoon for the evening, also known as Yu. And I've got to say, I love how creative this design is. Yu lives alone with his little sister Yumi, and he has a special ability to take over people's bodies for a limited amount of time. Oh, yeah, then I mention some people are built as youthers, and their powers are incredibly diverse, as they can range from not needing sleep to pyrokinesis. Yu uses this power to get everything he wants, like beating up people he doesn't like, getting the prettiest girl in the school to fall in love with him, and he even cheats on tests. One day, he's confronted by other people with special abilities. Takashio, ta Takashio, I'm not even gonna try it, and Tomori. Because of his powers, he's including a special school for ability users, and this is where the show really starts, if you will. This is basically a new monster every week type of show, uh, repairing some monsters with humans with power support. Now, first things first, use a prick, and it's because of this, the life thing has changed part happens way too quickly. Now, we get some much new development later, but it still seems weirdly rushed. And rushed is a key word here. The thing that makes this series worse, in my opinion, is the fact that there are only 13 episodes, and you can definitely see the lack of time they had in episode 9 to 13. Everything from there is really rushed. Now, let's talk characters. Yu is a great character in the beginning, and from episode 7 and up, but everything in between, he's the basic project yourself onto Protect Gun. This might not be a bad thing, but it sort of saddened me a bit, since he was a great character and kind of a blend between the illusion like Yagami. They make for up for it in episode 7 and the later ones, but you sort of forget he's even there most of the time in the middle. Ayumi is a really likable character, and the bond you and her share is really believable and non sexual. <laughs> This is also one of the biggest reasons why episode 7 is one of the greatest episodes of the series ever. Okay, I might be stretching a bit, but still. Tomori is... Eh, uh, well, she's such a simple cooler most of the time. But she has a few good moments, and it's the way the other characters interact with her that really sells it for me. Takasho... whatever. is basically the comic relief character, and a great one at that. Now, I don't think he added that much to the story, but I'm glad he was still there, as the comedy wouldn't have been as strong otherwise. And now, Yusarin. She's your typical there there. A happy clumsy dunce. And all in all, the most boring character. He's not getting tired of that word. Character. Mm. Or at least she would be if it wasn't for Misa, her second personality, who helps to spice things up. The music for this series was excellent, especially the opening and ending. No tracks really stood out that much, but they always filled the situation. Fan service? There weren't any. And I love that. It fitted so much better for this show not to have any, and it helped take the dramatic situations more seriously. This is why I think a show like Code Gears failed. You're right in the middle of a life and death situation and BOT IN YOUR FACE! I don't have a problem with fan service, as long as it fits the anime. Take a series like High School of the Dead for example. What would it be without its ridiculous fan service? Fan service is fine if it fits the show. Now, with all these things in mind, I loved it. Which is why I'm rewarding it a 9 out of 10. And the biggest reasons as to why it's not getting a perfect score is because of there only being 13 episodes. Having said that, this is definitely on my personal top 5 anime of all time. Now, if you've watched this entire video and you still haven't decided, then go watch it. It's definitely worth it. Unless you'd rather watch a Marathon School Days episode, but hey, I ain't judging. <laughs>